my office and uh, I'm looking into the back of my phone. So I really can't see anybody out there, which I guess I can anyways, normally. <clears throat> so good morning. So Bob, what's been going on this week in the channel line here? Well, first thing I want to say is that uh, my friend, Terry Farrigan, sent me this note last night. And it says, Bob, thank you for all the help with the phone bank. I hope you'll, have, you'll wear this next time you're on PAC TV. So my wife came up this morning. She's a court officer and she had a gun on. So she threw it on the bed and she said, put this on. Can you see it? I can't tell if you can or not. Can you stand up a little bit? Yep. There we go. Okay. okay. Perfect. There we go. And what it says is Baldwinsville, where kindness comes full circle. So I normally don't wear a lot of shirts with hearts on it, but I am today <laughs> because I was told to do that. But it was very nice of Terry and uh, my wife to do that. It just shows what our community thinks of the citizens, what, what the community thinks of each other, that everybody's helping each other and, and the community is a kind community. So I, uh, I broke down and I did wear this heart t-shirt today, uh, which which is pretty nice, but I think it's going to end up in my wife's closet at some point. <laughs> well, I think it's, <laughs> all right. All right. Thanks. <laughs> so, um, we're, we're preparing to bring the employees back uh, full time, but uh, the governor kind of threw a monkey wrench in the whole process when he extended everything out from May 1st to May 15th. And then the governor also mandated that we have personal protective uh, equipment, which we had anyway, but which included masks for everybody. So masks are a hot commodity right now. I mean, you probably see it on TV where uh, doctor's offices and the hospitals, everybody's having a hard time getting masks and that's no different from the problem I'm running into now. I, I do have a number of um, uh, feelers out to different uh, suppliers and I do have some on the way. In fact, today I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get uh, some of them anyway, enough to uh, get my people back to work and uh, get, uh, get the employees back uh, doing what they're doing. Uh, but in order to do that, we, we need that equipment. So the highway personnel and the parks department will be up and running next week. Now, when I say up and running, they're not going to be interacting with the public. They're just going to be doing their, their normal stuff. The, uh, the parks is really, it's not going to, we're not going to open up the park, but the employees are going to be going through mowing the lawns, taking care of uh, things that uh, over the winter may have gotten beat up a little bit. And same uh, with the highway department where I was just looking out a little while ago, it looked like a little snow from my office here, but they're probably going to be taking off the snow plows uh, the first week. And then they'll get into mowing the lawns and cleaning culverts and just general road maintenance uh, starting up. Well, we, um, well, I was talking to either the mayor or the chief, and I said, it's just nice to see that the problems are still something like the how you can clean the building for some more yard for making sure that everything is completely stuck out there. Um, it's just a flip, right? To see everybody out there doing the job. Maybe the snow going away for a while. I know that all the employees want to get back to work. They're probably like most of the people out there listening to this today. You probably wouldn't be listening to me if you weren't born. Um, but everybody's stuck in at home and the employees want to get back to work as well. So they're anxious to get going. And yes, it is. It, it gives us a sense of uh, normalcy when we can see things that we normally see on a daily basis. We see the highway department out. We see people on the streets. We see the parks open up. Uh, those things to, to get us back to uh, uh, some sort of normal uh, daily routine. I, I think that's good for everybody. <clears throat> hey, Bob, how did the, um, the board meeting go? 
Okay, I couldn't hear you that well. I'm going to step away for a second and turn this up. Okay, go again. I heard board meeting. How did the board meeting go with doing it early and then planning it later? Um, I haven't really received any complaints from any citizens. Um, there's We still don't have it open to the public, but we, we do it earlier so we can get it on. Uh, as soon as Pac B can put it on, and I know they're they're getting it on shortly after seven o'clock. So it seems to be it seems to be working out fine for the board members and the other department heads that come in. I'm sure some of the citizens that normally show up would like to be coming in, but that's probably not going to be taking place for a little while. But we're still able to get our our work done, and I know there's a lot of other uh, town boards that aren't even meeting. At least we're meeting. To, so we're, we can get that interaction with each other. Um, I mean, at the last board meeting, I mean, you don't always have board members and department heads agreeing on everything. And that's no different than what we had the last time. We had some, some um, strong discussions about different things, but it all got worked out. And uh, we're going to be uh, moving forward with the uh, highway uh, repairs like we were in the first place. And the rest of the town business is certainly you were able to take care of that uh, pretty efficiently but i think that the public being able to see us get together and, and talk over things i think is working out as good as it can i i know that there's been some uh, town board meetings that are held on zoom and talking to the other supervisors there's some there's some issues with that so we all have we all have different issues. You know, this is the new normal. We have to do it a different way, but we're trying to keep it as uh, consistent as we can. And right now, there none of us have been sick. Uh, so we spread out pretty well in the uh, town hall and uh, seems to be working OK. And as long as we're not getting complaints from the public, I guess the public is uh, fairly satisfied with the way we're doing it as well. I've heard nothing but a uh, really good thing. About the way that you know, the you know, the you know, the in the village, I think they appreciate what you're doing and how you're doing it. Well, <clears throat> that's good to know. I mean, we don't, a lot of times, unless things are going poorly, we don't get a lot of feedback. So to get some positive feedback on how things are going, that's, that's good to know. Because if uh, things aren't going the way the public wants them to go or there's something that we aren't doing that we should be doing or that they would like us to be doing we want to hear about it and uh like i said my uh i'm in the office every day and i take care of things every day um we have the engineer in today we have some issues going on now that building is is kind of gearing up a little bit so uh we're going to have some uh things that the engineer and the highway department have to take care of in our codes and uh, we're we're doing that uh, pretty efficiently. I don't think we've missed anything. Um, construction isn't up and running 100% yet, but I think most likely by the end of May, it will be. So we will be up and running along with that. But um, it, it's good to know that people are satisfied with what we're doing. And if you aren't, give us a call. <laughs> well, with the actual problem that we're having today with the technology, is there anything else you kind of want to throw out there, Bob? Yeah, I, I just I just wanted to make sure that people remember uh, and it was on um, the uh, morning shows this morning again across the country. There's a lot of scammers out there. So when when you get a call from somebody, you have to be very uh, diligent as far as making sure that they're who they're saying they are, because a lot of people are going to be calling and trying to take advantage of other people. We had, when I was uh, in Marcellus as the chief of police, we had an, a, a very old, uh, much older population over there. And somehow these people get a hold of the, their numbers. So just, just remember, don't open your door to anybody that you don't know who it is or you aren't expecting. If you aren't expecting somebody, do not open your door to them and call 911. Uh, if I the IRS were... Uh, many people are getting those checks from the IRS now, those stimulus checks. The IRS will never call you and ask you for your Social Security number. So when you, if somebody calls and asks for your Social Security number, you know it's a scam right away, hang up, 
and then call 911, let the local police departments know. There's um, nobody will ask you for money to to get your money. Nobody will. If if somebody in your family is another scam that they like to use now that they know money's coming in, they they might call and say your your nephew or your son or your grandson's in jail and we need a thousand dollars from you sent out in cash through Western Union uh, in order to bail them out. That will never happen. So if you get a call like that, that's a scam. Hang up. But that's that's a popular scam that people are using and and they have a lot of information. They'll have information about your kids, your grandkids. I mean, and it sounds legitimate, but I can tell you right now, if they call up for money, it isn't it isn't a legitimate organization. It isn't a police department, the IRS. So just try to be cognizant of that because I haven't heard of anything uh, locally here, but it's only a matter of time before they hit our area as well. Right. No, that's 100% true. Um, I think the chief of police had actually said something had happened to him recently when he was talking on Monday. Okay, I can't, I can't hear you that well. You must have moved away from your... <laughs> Or microphone. You know what I moved? Oh, I turned the computer off. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that I said, I said, that 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 I said that we said on Monday that happened to him with his family. His family. Uh, it was a while, a while ago, but then the hands there. Well, they usually target older individuals, so that's probably why they hit the chief of police. <laughs> 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 Well, thank you, Bob, again. You've had technical issues with you and you were with me. So thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, not a problem. And thanks again for everybody who's watching it. Talk to you soon, Bob. All right, bye.